White Bishop, Black Knight, missing. Can you help place it on the board? So that happens when uh, you're kind of blocking the camera moment. Capture Bishop. And if it takes too long, it will uh, it will give you that message. But it corrects itself once it sees that all the pieces are where they should be. And then I'm actually using an engine now to play against the board because I'm <laughs> nowhere near that strong. It's a 2300 ELO. But it gives you guys a good example um, how it plays. It's definitely taking a little bit more time on the higher levels. Uh, it seems to uh, need some more time to think, to assess. In the lower levels, he's, he's quite quick in uh, responding. It does seem that you need a, a good lighting uh, around the board for him to be uh, able to see it because he's using that camera with AI to recognize pieces. Also, sometimes it will knock over some pieces. Um, it happens. He, he does try to, to, to pick the pieces up uh, if, if they fell, but um, it's not been very successful doing so. Yeah. It's just easier to just pick them up and set them straight. Quality-wise, the board looks really, really well, well made. Um, it's also very quiet. Time. Uh, the volume of speech, uh, you can you can turn it down. The brightness, you can adjust to the screen. There's many videos on the internet where people are pressing the, the go button when they made their move, but it's actually something you can turn off. It will recognize once you made a move. Just, because, just because it doesn't see any obstructions anymore above the board like your hand. So then you will assess the board and uh, make its move. I can't say much about its play style. I know that they're using their own proprietary uh, AI, so it's, it's not like it's any of the well-known engines out there. It's, it's, it's really their own AI engine. Um, I play at quite low level. I'm not that good. Um, but I do notice that it, it seems to have a very nice, humane play style, if you will. Capture pawn. Check. So the sensor robot currently is playing against uh, a bot from Chesterton. It's not doing that well, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> far from it, but okay, it's just to show you guys how it plays. Check. And again, I just want to emphasize, it does knock over pieces. Sometimes you could see now that it was actually um, hitting the, the queen while it was lifting up. Um, it happens, it has its charm. And the main proof on that, I mean, uh, in, in firmware updates they will bring out, um, they say they will keep developing new features for it as well. Um, this company also has other robots, uh, Chinese chess, they also have checkers, um, uh, Go, uh, also very popular in, in, in China. Um, I think they have also voice control for other robots, so I'm not 
100% sure, but they may implement that here. That, that would be pretty cool. Leaches is, is actually um, integrated in the board. Um, that works quite quite well. Um, I'm hoping that they will also add chess.com at one point. We'll see. Uh, so far, uh, I'm liking it. And there are also other options out there, of course. Um, you got the the chestnut uh, move, uh, but I wasn't really. Um, I, I didn't really like so much that every piece has their own battery um, that you need to charge separately from the board. So you have to put it in a tray in the side and, and you, you charge your pieces. We also mentioned that the batteries will last you um, a couple of years, which would mean that at one point you may have to replace all those pieces, which is. is it's quite costly because I think they said it's going to be like twenty dollar per piece, or for the base you pay for the base because you that was the ID. Um, you got the Phantom Chess board, of course, the Kickstarter. They're fulfilling all their orders. Um, they're almost done. That's that's what they claim, and and you you, you can start ordering the board from them. Um, that's of course a different system. You don't you don't have that whole uh, robot setup. Um, it, it, it's really with magnets uh, under the board, so it just grips the piece from under the board and move it to the location, which is, of course, very clean, elegant. Um, you got the Go Chess, uh, that's, an, that's another board in development with also robots being in the board, picking up the piece magnetically and move it, so also a very clean look. Um, personally, I got a little bit tired of waiting for those boards. It was taking years and years and years. Um, I also looked into the square off boards, uh, but I mean, just going to their Kickstarter page, they are having so much problems with their boards and also delivering the boards on no way. So, and then I saw this one um, on uh, Indiegogo and uh, I just decided to buy it. I got it for 46% uh, discount, uh, but so that's pretty good. So yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. I, I actually kind of like... Um, you can't move my pieces. Uh, sorry, I was <laughs> trying to concentrate. So you can see now, she will correct that actually. Because, uh, I cannot move her pieces, obviously, I know. So... Yeah, I think... Okay, let's continue. I think this is all I wanted to just show. I don't have to show the full game. Um, it's just to give you guys an idea how it plays. Um, like I said, if, if, you have a, if you have a piece dropped, um, let's say I just dropped this piece. Uh, she does see that. She will White try to Missing. Can straighten you it up. On the board? To see, but I haven't, I have seen it one time that it picked it up successfully. They may also improve on that, but I, I guess this is really hard, right? I mean, so you can see it will try. Well, there you go. For the video, this time it worked perfectly. You can try it again. I mean, <laughs> of course, it will also move it back where it's supposed to be. So that's also pretty, uh, pretty cool. But let, let's give that another okay, try. Okay, let's continue. Let's put a rook there, see what she does. White rook, missing. Can you help place it on the board? No, you can try it yourself, right? <laughs> I can always do it if you're not managing. Okay, let's see how that one goes. Yeah, a little bit less successful. So she will keep trying. Some pieces have fallen over. As far as I've I seen, but... Them up. Could you please help me? But that's what I mean, I mean... Missing. Can you help place it on the board? It's easier to just pick it up yourself and set it back, but... I kind of like that they try to do this. <laughs> nah, I don't think it's gonna work, but... I can just put it... Some if, pieces have fallen even if I don't remember where it was, just put it somewhere, and she will pick it up and put it where it's supposed to go. So that's actually a nice feature. See, now she will just move it where it was. So that's pretty cool. So all in all, I'm I'm quite happy with it. Okay, um, let's continue. It's it's not the smallest. Um, I also kind of like that you can just lift this middle part up and 
turn it around if you want to play black, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, I can probably now, I'm anyway in the video, let me just resign and... It's really fun being with you. I look forward to playing chess together again next time. Only registered players can access more features. Go ahead and register. So let me just switch to my account. Just to show. So you got Apex Duel, that, that means that she will play at the maximum strength. Uh, I'm not sure how high that is, but you got Planet Alliance, which is uh, basically Lee Chess. Um, hopefully they will add chess.com at one point. One. So you can set up a match from here or you can challenge friends. Um, it doesn't show your friends there, it's more like you just create a, a QR code and you can take a picture, send it to your friend and they scan it in on, on, on their sensor robot and then you can play. But you can start um, a game with a bot or a friend on Lee Chess and then just continue on the board because once you go into this menu, it will say, hey, you got a game going on. Um, so that works quite well. You got your challenge AI from basic and it goes from level 200 and it goes, um, you got your master which goes up to 2300. Once you go into grandmaster, it will actually tell you it's, it's gonna need that online connection for this level. Everything below seems to be the embedded AI. And again, they are using their own um, engine. So this is not a known engine or anything. End game challenges, classic games where it um, can play the game and explain about each move. Um, it, it, that's quite nice. You can go through it step by step or just let it play automatically. Also pretty cool, uh, learn. So you got your courses. So you got uh, introductory courses and you got beginner courses. And then you also have a lot of practice exercises. I think that they say it's like 1200 exercises or something that are uh, provided to you. I did see in some lessons that it was, um, according to me, <laughs> but I'm not, not, not a chess expert that the, uh, that according to me it was wrong like I had to put a fork and I was like it kept saying like no this is wrong and then I looked at the answer and that was not a fork according to me but those things I did see not much most of it work, is working quite well um, also one time he um, I should say she since it's a female voice but at one point Point, it actually moved and shoved the knight because sometimes it will pick up pieces at other times it will just slide them over and this time he was just basically sliding the, the knight when it was here right through the pawns in, in one of the lessons <laughs> I think something with the algorithm there went wrong uh, maybe he didn't recognize that pieces were there but normally he would say if he if he sees an uh, anomalies on the board or I haven't seen that when I was actually playing games against the AI this type of weird behavior other than that he sometimes knocks over pieces it, it, it does happen you got settings uh, there's not much in there it's, it's brightness of the screen it's it's uh, you can say if you have to press that go button between each move that you make I, I i turned it off because i like that immersion i just move and it, it sees i made my move that's uh, way nicer you got custom please press the okay uh, button after you have set up the board ensure that the chessboard is not obstructed Okay, so I cannot really show, but you can say set up in a, a, a custom game in there uh, for people uh, that like to do that. You can basically just set up whatever you want and, and it will, well, I can actually show you because it's... Please press the OK button after you have set up the board. See. Ensure that the chessboard is not obstructed. So now it's checking the board so it knows exactly where all the pieces are and then you can um, make some changes in... in how the game will proceed from here. Did you already castle, etc., etc. 
so yeah, that that's that's basically it. Um, I really love the fact that you have those spaces where it puts their uh, the captured pieces. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or anything, just uh, just let me know. Thanks for watching.